Hello and welcome to our December screencast. This screencast is going to be all about the events that are going to be happening in room 24 during the month of December. So before I talk about the month of December events, let me first draw your attention to the parent portal again. If you are interested in having live access to my grade book, please click here to follow the directions of how you can access my grade book on your student's lunch account when I put in grades and also when a deposit is made to their lunch account as well. You can have this sent to your phone or whatever internet, internet device you use as well can also have access to when your student is turning in homework. I, turn, I collect homework every morning so the students scan it in using the QR code. And then as they are doing their morning work, I can quickly glance and see who did the work and I put in a grade as I'm checking to see who did their morning work for the day as well as who did their homework. So you can tell instantly who turned in homework and who did not turn in homework. It also talks about when the students made a deposit to their lunch account as well, so you now have access to that as well. So coming to the month of December, I'm going to go ahead and expand the calendar so that way I can talk about winter break as well. So looking at the expanded month of December, first off we have the holiday shop. Holiday shop is when the students come to school at 6 o'clock at night and in the gym we have it all set up like a little mini store where the students can purchase items for their families that they would like to give as gifts. They will have a little assistant shopper that helps them pick out gifts that they can give to their families while the family sit out in the hallway so that way the gifts still remain secret and anonymous. Then we have our fun winter break which is going to start on December 24th. So December 23rd we have a full day of school and Latchkey's running just like a normal day. And then on December 24th, we'll start our winter break and we go all the way until January 9th is when we come back to school. So if we click here on the calendar in January, which would be 2017, have to get used to saying that, classes resume on January 9th. I'm not sure if Lashkey will be running during this time. It's always a good idea to check with Ms. Leanne um, and make plans according to the schedule there. So with the winter break, parents always ask, what are we going to be doing for winter break? If we're going to have a holiday party, what are we going to do? And that's a great question. So before we get into the holiday party, let me say that I do give the students a small packet of review homework to do over the break. It is all review. I'm not giving them anything that we have not done in class. So everything is a review. And yes, they should do it because they need to practice the skills at home because we will need them when we come back to class on January 9th. So over um, before winter break, we are going to not have a holiday party. So I'm going to be sending home these flyers the next couple of days after I'm done with them. This is just strictly a preview right now. And it is going to be instead we are going to be having a instead of having a holiday party, we will be making gifts for the animals at the Huron Valley Humane Society and the residents at the American House. The reason that we're doing that is be, doing this is because in our social study unit, we have been learning about humanity and, and philanthropy. During, during our last two days of school before break, we'll be making items for the animals and the residents at the, at the American House. Last year, we made small blankets for each animal at the shelter, decorations for the building, and cards to be read to the animals. This year, I would like to send them the same care package, but instead, we'll be making toys for the animals instead of blankets. For the American House, the students will be making storybooks, snow people, and yarn crafts. Since I'm not a crafty person, I am asking for volunteers. Um, you must have had turned in the iChat located in the office to come spend the afternoon with the students and making crafts. And also, um, I am needed craft supply, and there's a list located on the back of this paper. And the classroom will also be collecting um, unused pet supply to, do, to donate to the animal shelter. And during winter break, Gator, she was adopted from the Humane Society. Um, we will take those goods back to the shelter to have them dropped off to all the little puppies and all the little dogs and kittens and cats that are at the shelter waiting for their forever homes. So the supply that I'm asking for and that I am in need of is... So the craft supply that I am, am in need of is dry rice, ricer beans because we're going to use them in our snowman. Buttons, they can be any color, shape, size, anything that you would like. 
white socks any size i am asking that they are brand new socks um not used so that way we can make them to use our snow people and also we're going to use them for um the toys the dogs so please no use socks we like new ones two socks work great for the toys that we're going to make for the animals um, they could be men's socks as well. They could be any color, any design. If you want to tie-dye them before bringing them in, that's fine. Empty water bottles, so no caps or rings on the water bottles or labels, I should say, because we're going to use those as part of the toy. And then if you would like to bring in any fabric, shape, and size, or color, it does not matter as well. We're going to use those as scarves. Um, for the donations for the cats and dogs, we I'm asking if you want to give any bones, food, it can be water, dry, blankets, toys, towels, shampoo, brushes, puppy pads, pools, treats. They can be homemade treats if you're into making homemade treats or if you would like to buy treats, that's fine. And any other ideas that you can think of, all ideas are welcome. I know my list is kind of more geared towards dogs, but I never had a cat, so I'm not exactly sure what cats use or what they would like to use as well. So any donations you have is perfect, and I will be taking those to the animal shelter, as I said, during um, break gator, and I will be de um, delivering them to them. So that's what we'll be doing the, the two days before winter break. I will give the packet of homework before the two days, so that way everybody has a chance to get it, and it will... Um, it should come back to the classroom after winter break. So I don't want to see it before. I want to see it after winter break. So I'm not giving the students the packet of homework to do in two days. I'm having them do the homework in two days extra plus the two weeks. So that way they have tons of time to review it. And that is what's going to be going on in December. So it's a short month. If you need to arrange some child care, um, please make sure you check in with Ms. Leanne, and if there's any changes to our schedule, please also check with the Bobcat Buzz, Mr. P Mr. Schiffman Post Weekly, on the Bobcat website, also on the Clarence Hall website, you can see that as well. If you have any questions for me, as always, feel free to dojo me, feel free to stop in, or leave a message with Ms. Craig, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Until then, I wish you a wonderful holiday season if I do not talk to you before then. Be safe, and I hope you have a great break as everybody else will. Until then, I hope you take care of you and those that you love. Talk to you shortly. Bye-bye.